right, guys. Excuse me, my allergies today. It's a rainy, yucky day. I was on my way to get a prescription, which I still have to do, but I thought I would go to Hobby Lobby first. I'm looking for just a couple little things. Um, I am making an advent calendar for my nephew. So we're going to make another one. This is for a teen boy, so it's definitely not like a keep thing. This is a disposable advent calendar for kids, pets, teenagers, the like. So, um, I ran in to get a few things. Sorry, I have a mint. It helps my throat. I do not have COVID. I'm sneezing because of the allergies. Okay, so all I ended up picking up is a couple things. I got some stickers for this advent. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing, but I got some Santa stickers. They were regularly two for two ninety nine half price. I'll use these no matter what. But there are... 24 pieces on here. So that's good. Um, I grabbed a set. Oh, it comes with two sets of numbers. I also got numbers at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try to use those, but just in case. But this is really cool. You get up to 31 and there's two sets of numbers and they're stuck together, which makes like, this is one sticker, the double digit numbers. Makes it easier for lining things up. This was regularly $2.49, it was half price. And then for me, because I got some cat Christmas stickers. Look at those black and white kitties. So cute, oh, it's not in focus, so cute. And that one was $2.49, half price. And then I got some ribbon. This is mostly for my house, but it could end up being utilized. If you can see it it could be ended up utilized in the advent calendar we shall see i don't really know yet um but this was five dollars and you get 30 feet so that's a really good deal i know we all like to get ribbon at the dollar tree but um nine feet is a dollar and this is 30 feet and the thing is if you want to make a big bow you need a lot of ribbon um i'm not making a big bow actually i know exactly what i want for this one piece of this um, for my house. And I like that it has the buffalo check, but also the darker black. I don't know. I just thought it was different. So I got that. At the Dollar Tree, I picked up stuff to make the advent calendar. Um, I'll probably, I don't know. We'll see if I do a haul first and then make this advent calendar. Anyway, you're going to see the advent calendar and what materials, and you can get all the materials at the Dollar Tree. Easy peasy. All right, I need to go get a prescription, and I need to get Sudafed for my allergies. All right, we'll chat later. Hi, guys. I'm back. We're home. Got to feed the boys. Went to... Bring to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff. I need to run the dishwasher. And I ran into Hobby Lobby. I showed you what I got there. And then on my way home, I had to go to CVS. I got my prescription. I got a new blood meter. My other one went kerput on me, which happens every, you know, so often. Excuse me, buddy. Um, they tend to last me a couple years. And I've had this one for a few years, so it just stops working. So they got me a new one, but the problem is it's different than my old one. And they didn't call in Lancet or the strips to test my blood. So I couldn't use it. So I got my new one here. So I had to run in there. I got some Sudafed, which was awesome sauce because, you know, I'm all stuffed up. I love that I have to sign that I won't make drugs. Now, the good thing with the Sudafed, however, is um, what's the good thing? The good thing is this time around. I get the CVS brand and with my insurance, I get a 20% discount and I 
Yeah, so 20% discount. My HSA paid for it, and then there was a $5 reward. What? I had to get creamer for my coffee. I keep forgetting that I didn't get it over the weekend. Hi, buddy. I'll get you in a second. I didn't pick any cream up over the weekend, so I needed to get some cream for my coffee. And while I was perusing Aldi, like you do, I love this stuff. This, and they only have it every once in a while. It's their brand, Sims, thick sliced pepperoni. Look at how thick it is. To me, this is not pizza pepperoni. I mean, you can put it on pizza, but I tend to eat this more with like cheese. And this will be good to take on vacation when I go. So I'm just gonna throw it in the freezer. Now, I also found my Aldi has their Christmas coffee out. What? So they have gingerbread this year. We're gonna try that. They have white chocolate. And they have their version of mocha mint, or what Starbucks sells is peppermint mocha. So we're gonna see how this fares against Starbucks, because I do have two bags of the Starbucks in the freezer. Don't judge me and my coffee, guys. I like it a lot. So I did pick up at Walmart the other day two of the Starbucks peppermint mocha. One is definitely going on vacation with us because um, Sarah likes it too. So we'll do one on vacation and then one, um, you know, I'll drink it. It's not like I'm not going to drink it. And sometimes I just like to save it and have it in the summertime. I know, crazy. All right. Well, I need to put my rubber gloves on to protect my hands and load the dishwasher. It's 6.30. I really haven't had dinner yet. So I'm going to film a what I eat in a day. It's just not today. I need to get a little more prepared. Today, literally, have, for dinner, I will probably have four friends. I'm not going to lie. Because it's late and I've just been running about. So I will check back in with you. Hey, guys. I had a request to see my tiered tray. This is what it looks like for Halloween's giving. Sort of. The cats have been bumping into it. Back there I have some stuff from my cousin when she comes for a Halloween party we're having. And then my things from my nieces and uh, my countdown. So my dining room is a little bit of a mess for the holidays. But this is my tiered tray. Um, I do make it round on both sides so you can see everything. So I hope that helps. All right, everybody. Good morning. It's 740. It's Thursday. It's going to be 78 today. So I thought I would get one more wear out of my Hocus Pocus shirt this week before um, it gets too cold. I am getting ready to check my blood sugar. So I haven't had anything to eat. I do check it fasting in the morning. Here's my new little meter. My other one just pooped out on me. Uh, but I do check it, like I said, fasting. It's been running high, and I don't know why. I need. I have a doctor's appointment um, coming up in November. So I can talk to him about that. And it could just be that my medicine is not as effective as it should be. Because it certainly isn't my diet. Like right now... I'm 167. That's high fasting. Now, I'm always higher in the morning. That is a given. But I'll talk to my doctor about it. Yeah, let's move you. I've been wearing my rubber gloves, and I even bought a new pair because these are kind of gross. I use them to dye fabric, but whatever. Um, I've been wearing them because it's winter time, and I'm really trying to avoid... Um, my fingers getting dry and cracked. I put moisturizer on all the time. Um, part of it is I'm, I do a lot of like washing dishes in the sink, washing out my coffee cup and stuff, but also needlework. So working in my cross stitch and working knitting 
dries out your hands a lot. It, the, fab, uh, the fabric, and with paper, sucks the moisture out of your hands. And then the heat in the winter and all the water, so it's just a bad combination. So this year, I decided I'm on it. I'm going to, but, oh plus, with all the extra cleaning going on with COVID and whatnot, I decided that uh, I'm gonna start wearing the rubber gloves while I'm doing my cleaning. Any kind of house cleaning, bathrooms, stuff like that. All right, my sink is clean. I'm a terrible about leaving a couple plates or, you know, the evening stuff in the sink. I'm terrible about it. Sorry. Let me make my coffee or get it going. And I will show you what I got in the mail. This is not a sponsored portion of this video, but it is something I wanted to share with you. So hold on one second. There we go. So I, I used to belong, or I still do belong, to Grove Collaborative. Um, and it is a company that you can order all kinds of cleaning products and sustainable house things you know for your home it's all home good type things like recycled toilet paper recycled material paper towels it's all good for the environment no harsh chemicals that whole thing the whole shebang and you can buy everything from them now i think their shipping is 4.99 um, unless you order, say, like $50 worth, and I think it's free. And you can belong to the VIP. It's called their VIP something or other. And they give you an, you get an automatic shipment each month. I used to do that, but the problem is, because it's just me, I don't, I wasn't going through the products quick enough. So I ended up with this massive stockpile of Mrs. Meyer's products. So I stopped the VIP delivery. Um, and I went on the other day and I had a credit. So I ordered some stuff that I wanted and needed for the house. Um, now that I kind of stopped using the Mrs. Myers products when COVID happened, because most of it's not like antibacterial and I was really kind of, you know, I wanted to get my house together and get all the back cleaned up. So I feel comfortable now going back to my Mrs. Myers because I have wipes that I can use too. So this is what I bought. I got the Method, which is also another natural, no harsh chemical. It's good on bathroom surfaces, sinks and fixtures, tubs, glaze, tile, toilet seat. I use it in my kitchen too. There's no reason you shouldn't, but it's 99%, uh, kills 99% of household germs. What is the active ingredient? Huh, doesn't tell me well there's spearmint in it i know that i don't know if it's oh here it is on the front Lori. citric acid so i don't know if it kills covid or not um, but i use it in my bathroom and it's spearmint and it does a really nice job then for the holidays i didn't have any fun smells and i wanted peppermint this year so I got the Mrs. Myers Peppermint Scent Cleaner. This is multi-surface. You can use it on all kinds of things. The thing I like the most about it, I can't get that off, is, um, I'm gonna just smell it. Okay, never mind. Uh, what I like, ooh, it smells good because I just squirted it on myself, is um, it doesn't hurt my cats or my dog, my niece's dog when she comes over, um, because it is natural. Is it great? I wouldn't spray my cats with this, but they're not gonna get sick if they ingest a little bit of it. Um, so I got the dish soap in the peppermint. I know this smells good. It smells like twisted peppermint almost from Bath and Body. So I got a large container of the dish soap. I will tell you this stuff is pretty thin. I don't use it all the time, but I like the holiday scent. And then for January and winter, I got Snowdrop scent, which 
smells it just smells clean mm, it's really fresh and clean and I love it and this would be great for gin like after the first of the year and through the hall I start at Thanksgiving I'll use the peppermint and if I don't use it all I just put it away for next year and then the cleaner because I just love the little things the smelly good stuff so I think that if you want to try it out for yourself um, I believe and I'll double check that I have a link in below to Grove Collaborative and you might I think you get a if you sign up for the shipment you get a free gift I'm pretty sure I'm doing a terrible job explaining this because I'm not really a good sales pitch kind of person I just know that I like the company I like what they stand for and I like their products so I thought I would share with you my order and they ship pretty pretty quickly and if you have any issues hi buddy if you have any issues, you know, they're very fast to resolve. I think once my shipment was delivered, but somebody took it or it was delivered to the wrong address, but I don't, I don't know. I just knew I didn't get my order and I emailed them and they said that, you know, on their side, they showed that it was delivered. So we figured it probably went to somebody else and that's not their fault. I mean, they, I can't expect them to fix what the post office did but they ended up sending me another box with an extra pack of toilet paper for my inconvenience and I was like but I'm not inconvenienced <laughs> I mean I am but I'm not it's not your fault you didn't do anything they they follow what they were supposed to do so there's that all right guys I gotta head up to work and start the day it's three o'clock my three o'clock slump if you will. I'm gonna make some tea. Hot tea that is. A little chilly although it is 70 out. Probably gonna be the last of the cool weather before winter. That's okay. Right? Right. Oh, I got something in the mail I wanted to show you. I actually got some cards. This is a Halloween card from Danielle. Oh my gosh, look at the kitty. I love it, Danielle. Thank you. And uh, Karen, Karen, Karen. Guys, look at this. And it's on a little spring. Isn't that awesome? I love handmade cards. And this comes all the way from Canada. Thank you, Karen. And Joanne in Washington made this one. Guys, look at the kitties. Guys, you are so talented. And then Renee from California sent this beautiful birthday card with a nice note. Thank you. And then Vicki sent cheese and trail bologna that was so kind of you thank you so much you guys you're too much you are so good to me i don't even know how to say thank you i mean i can say thank you thank you i'm washing a cup because i need to stop getting a fresh cup every time i make tea or coffee I keep putting them in the dishwasher, and then I was like, well, I don't want to keep running the dishwasher. Although, with the cat stuff, cat bowls. Am I the only person with the cat bowls that I wash them every time I feed them? I have a whole... <laughs> Guys, I don't know about me sometimes. Oh, and I didn't put my gloves on. I have more in the dishwasher. I get these at the Dollar Tree. I love them because they have the rubber bottom. And for the cats, they're pretty flat and it, their whiskers don't get bothered. So I just feed them once. So they get two in the morning and two at night. And then I throw the dish in the dishwasher. So I have a whole stack over there that I just grab from. I know. Isn't that crazy? I mean, maybe, maybe it's me. What kind of tea do you think we need? I'm gonna make, how about a vanilla caramel and a salted caramel together? Oops. 
Sarah. My niece is coming to visit me today. So today's Thursday. My actual birthday is tomorrow. Um, I know I keep saying it's this week, and it is, but this video you'll see after my birthday. But she's stopping by to visit tonight. And then, oh, this weekend the Buckeyes are going to be playing finally. And then I just realized I made a hair appointment for 1 o'clock. But that's fine. I'll listen to it on the radio. And quite frankly, they should win. I need a haircut. This is desperation time, guys. I need a haircut. Throw a little cream in my coffee. Ooh, what happened to my cup? Oh, nothing. I thought there was a scratch on it. So that's my excitement for right now. It's 3 o'clock. I'm taking a break. I've got an hour and a half. I got stuff on my table for Sarah to take home with her when she comes tonight. Do some laundry. It's so exciting around here. Ooh, I bought a book on Amazon to learn how to do hand lettering. I think... It's like the new age to the new school calligraphy, but I'm super excited to try it. So I think this weekend or maybe during some downtime, I'm going to learn. It's a workbook. So it has some, there's discussions, but mostly it's worksheets. You know, when you were little learning how to write cursive, it's like that. Straight up. Practice your letters. I know. I think my water's boiling. What do we think? It is. Gotta make the tea. Well, good morning to me, family and friends. I came outside to go get my coffee. And somebody decorated my car. And my house. And my tree. And my yard. Happy birthday to me. Hailstorm. I don't think you can see it through the screen, but it's hailing. Crazy. Okay, guys, we are going to finish this vlog. Oh, I've been so busy today. What did I do? I made some masks. Um, Grinch masks. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, I made Grinch masks. And they say, I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. And then there's a Grinch wearing a mask. <laughs> I'll put it on for you. I made them for some of my cousins had requested those. Um, and I got the masks at Target. And this is just cut on my Cricut. I will say that this material is not easy to iron on. And then I made one that just says vote. Because I thought it was fun. So we did that. And then Sarah and I got our matching Christmas pajamas from Target. You got to buy them when you see them. I picked up the men's set because they seem to fit me better. But they're super long. So I hemmed them up like five inches because I'm short. Well, I have a short inseam, but these are going to be our Christmas jammies. So these are ready. They've been washed. I'm just hanging them in my closet. They've been washed, hemmed, ironed, and put away, but I need my jammies. Ugh. And we have a Mr. Wellington. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi to the people. He's in my bed, and I'm getting ready to put my pajamas on. <laughs> He's laying on them. It's flannel season, guys. All right, so that is everything. I'm going to edit this video and get it up. So I hope you have a good day, a good weekend, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye. Somebody wants some attention. What you want, buddy? All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.